Hey, what's up everybody? Will Mosby here, back with yet another RV DIY video. Hey, so we're continuing the series on updating the 2006 Forest River Flagstaff, but in this video I'm going to show you how I decided to redesign and remodel the dinette that I'm actually sitting at right now. You know, so it probably doesn't matter if it's the dinette in your RV or your camper or your kitchen table, your dinette table in your house. That's where you're probably going to spend a lot of quality time, time with family, doing puzzles, doing projects, eating food. It's just a great space, maybe even editing videos. Who knows if you're on the go like that. But it's just a great space, and so I really wanted to give this, this area uh, of, of the dinette area of the RV a little bit of update just to keep with the same style that you see around the, the whole entire thing. So here's a before picture of what it used to look like. And yeah, just kind of old, grimy, nasty. I think every RV has a tendency to look the same no matter what year you're looking at, am I right? But you know, on this 2006 compared to maybe something that was in 2019 and maybe even 2020, they just look the same. And so really what I wanted to do is I wanted to get rid of that kind of camel back, that, that hump in the back uh, across, the, uh, across the top edge. I wanted to get rid of that and put a piece of wood trim across the top. At first I thought I was just gonna leave the trim kind of wood grain, wood color, but as I got to looking at it, it just, it would stick out. And so I just decided to paint it white, much like everything else in here. I didn't, I didn't want to match, uh, match it up with like the border that's, uh, that's on the, uh, the slide. I went with white the whole time, the whole way through. Uh, it came out great. Uh, even the cushions we found. So we've got these cushions and these are, these are the original cushions that came with it. Um, so they were nice and sturdy, uh, good cushions, but they just had that, nasty covering on them so we actually found my wife found some coverings on amazon that worked great the the bottom one fits perfect we had to tighten up this one a little bit but uh it's a great solution it gave us the color that we were kind of looking for we were looking for gray uh, and so we found this little this nice gray covering that goes on the cushions but the back of it i don't know if you can see behind me yeah so the back of it, it just had a little wood trim uh and we redid the whole entire thing but a little piece of wood trim across the top and uh, came out great. Hey, if you're enjoying the content so far, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that like button and consider subscribing to the channel if you're into this kind of DIY stuff. So now let's go through step-by-step step how I decided to redesign and remodel the dinette benches and also the table. Let's go. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is cut the backs to the benches. And now let's just make sure that it fits correctly and uh, that looks pretty good. So now we're gonna cut the bottom piece, but watch closely here at the very end. This is a wide sheet, uh, four foot sheet of plywood and I get to the end and I just clip it off of course, I got pissed off, shook my head because I knew I'd made a mistake. Trim that little edge up, and you can actually see that little dog-eared portion right there. Luckily, it wasn't a piece of it. So my advice is to get something to support between uh, your sheet of plywood. This is real thin plywood. This is only quarter-inch plywood. All right, so here we're just going to check the fit, make sure that we're okay. And uh, yeah, everything looks like it lines up the way that I wanted. Made sure nothing was in the way there. And then we're going to go back and put it on a, another sheet of plywood so we can make the second bench bottom. Basically, that's what we're doing here. We're just going to mark it off and we're creating a second one. You can see here I'm freehanding these cuts. Uh, not using a guide because this is a bottom so it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect but uh, I've got a pretty steady hand so these are pretty close anyway so we're gonna go test fit this one I love the sound of my feet walking across the floor there you go that was a little bit long so we're just gonna knock off this last little I don't know half inch quarter inch off of there and we're good Now we're going to tack everything down. I'm using 18 gauge brad nails. 
The problem is they are just a little bit too long. So don't have your finger back there when you're punching these things through. Okay, let's pause right there for just a second. This is showing you how I designed the back of the benches or the top of the bench so that back piece could rest upon this board and also my trim piece that goes across the top, it had something to connect to and this is how I built it. So I had a little small block piece to hold my other board that runs the, the width of the dinette bench. Uh, and that gave me some support, not only between the left and the right side, but also support for the, uh, the backboard so it could go against it and also the trim piece on top. Also up here at the top, you can see where I had to hacksaw off that arched piece that you know, spanned the width of the bench itself, that arch piece that ran across the top that seemed like every bench always has. But I just took a hacksaw, cut off that little top piece and kind of filed it down so there's no sharp edges. All right, let's continue. So here I'm just checking the fit of a piece of trim that I had laying around to see if that was going to work. I cut it to length and see if my idea worked. And it uh, looks like I liked it because I'm nailing it in with uh, the brad nailer. And now we're going to sand everything down real good so we can put our first coat of prime on there. And you probably don't want to watch me sand the entire thing, so I'm sure that you know what's going on. Just sand the whole entire thing. Let's do a hard cut right here. And yeah, you got to blow off all that dust, otherwise it's going to just show up in your paint and that sucks. So uh, I'm just using the compressor and blowing off all the dust. Now I'm just going to measure the end cap piece and go cut that. Get that attached on there. And so what I decided to do was actually take this little bit wider piece of white trim board that I had and uh, obviously I me uh, measured it across the, the top to be the top trim piece going over to the table saw and we're just going to cut this piece right down the middle, cut it right in half and that's going to act as my my top trim pieces. I didn't actually like the other one that I put on. It was too narrow, wasn't wide enough, so I just didn't like it. So I cut these and that's what I'm going to actually use for the top trim piece and that worked out a whole lot better. Okay, so now we're just going to prime the whole entire thing and I just happen to have a can of spray primer hanging around. You could easily have used kills, something like that, but Definitely put on a coat of prime or primer uh, before you paint. Uh, that's really gonna help make your paint stick to this thing because uh, it was kind of shiny and, and nothing really wanted to stick to it, especially that piece right there. Nothing really wanted to stick to it. And now we're just gonna use a little small roller. And uh, it took a couple of coats of white to really uh, get this thing covered correctly. All right, so this is quite possibly the second, third, fourth coat of white uh, to get it to really bond, to really sink in. Um, but we finally got it. And of course, as you saw, if you're doing any kind of project like this, you need to have your dog and a beer laying around. And yeah, it helps to have a riding lawnmower in your shot.
And finally, we can take these things inside and we're going to get them mounted to the floor using the same screws that uh, we used to take it out. Those uh, were, were just fine. So I'm just gonna reuse them and reuse the holes. And we're just gonna drill right through the slide platform and probably be in the same holes that we were. Uh, so it's gonna work out just fine. And here's my wife putting in one of the drawers. And let me tell you, those drawers are a pain in the butt to get out and to also put in. But once they're in, they're good. And in the beginning of the video, there's those cushions that I was talking about. And uh, they look actually pretty good right there. She's admiring them. All right, so now we're gonna bring in the second bench. But first, we've gotta get our distance correct. So we're using the table as a guide to get our distance from the other because this this dinette can actually turn into a, a small bed. So we've got to get our distance correct using the table. And same process as the first one. We're just using the same screws. And we're going to go ahead and screw this into the floor and mount it securely. Get the top on, get the cushions on, fight with a drawer as usual. Got it. We're good. All right, so here is the finished product. And uh, this is what I'm talking about. It, the, the trim piece that I decided to go with because it used to have this little hump across here and that fabric across the top. Uh, just wasn't a fan of it. It was just kind of ugly and brown. The whole thing was brown. So I decided to just make it completely new. Um, gave it a new back and uh, new under here. Or well, you can't even see it. New storage under there and uh, left everything else alone, just you know, painted it. But uh, that's that trim piece, did the same thing there. And uh, same thing here. And it just came out really, really good. That's those little cushions that I was talking about with the, with the covers. Uh, we had to like pull this one a little bit tighter, but um, no, nah, I think it looks great. Works great. Like I said, the cushions are great. And then here is a little peel and stick um, almost like marble top and uh, I just I painted the front of it white did this pill and stick around uh, the top of it and I, I couldn't be happier with that it actually looks really good uh, of course the pill and stick has a little bit of a seam you can't see it on camera right there right there is the seam you can barely see it on camera and even up close you don't even notice it you know sitting here playing cards eating um, you really don't even notice it Hey, before we go, hopefully you found this video helpful. And if you're into this kind of DIY stuff, please consider subscribing to the channel. Give this video a thumbs up and we'll see you in the next video.